Hey friends, Justin here with a review of the HBO Max release, Those Who Wish Me Dead, starring Angelina Jolie. Directed by Taylor Sheridan, he actually also partially wrote the screenplay, which is pretty interesting. So, a pretty complex story, uh, might I say jumbled, follows uh, Angelina Jolie, who is suffering from PTSD. She's a firefighter who, I don't know if a couple of years before or several months before, went through a catastrophic fire where she was either unable or unwilling to save three small children. There is an investigative researcher whose story somehow gets interweaved you know, in, in a kind of an inexplicable way with Angelina Jolie's. Um, he stumbled on the truth of some conspiracy and, you know, is on the run from those who wish him dead. And so as those that, the ones that wish him dead, as the, the assassins uh, close in on him, he gives his final instructions to his son. And so he, the son, you know, runs off into the woods and follows his instructions. Where there's a creek, there's a, you know, river, and where there's a river, it leads to a town. So uh, on his journey, he intersects with Angelina Jolie, who, upon looking at his documents, um, there's recognition. She knows exactly what's going on and the severity of the situation. As they're fleeing from these assassins, they come up against a, a, an outrageous or an enormous wildfire that's blocking their way. And so it's, you know, it's between this apocalyptic fire and these deadly assassins on the other end. And this cat and mouse game between survivalists and assassins. And if it sounds outlandish, if it sounds outrageous, you know, put... The, um, put the cherry on top w uh, for a cameo by Tyler Perry, who plays, the, you know, the big boss. Now, Angelina Jolie, as usual, is, you know, she's a, a awesome, beautiful. Um, there are a few moments that are really heartfelt in the film. You know, at, at, at first I struggled to, to see, okay, why is Angelina a fit for this film? For this film for this role it seemed like it might you know be a better fit for someone else but there were a few moments where um she really had to convince the young man of her character and um there were a few tender moments in the film where she really sold it for me but you know it's not hard for me to be sold by an angelina jolie film or vehicle um a lot of fun, you know, they're running through the woods, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of not so, well not a lot, but there is some not so good uh, CGI, but uh, for the most part I had a really fun time, it was a cool popcorn film, um, I would rate it, to be honest with you, three out of five stars. Um, it, you know, it's not breaking any new ground here, it's just a, a fun Saturday popcorn flick and you know released on Friday I think that's when most people will probably pull it up on HBO Max is Saturday you won't regret it um, there are you know there's some pretty incredible action in the the, the movie um, some pretty you know intriguing character work um, but you know I there will be no uh, Oscar contention for the the film those that wish me dead so uh, did you guys laugh when Tyler Perry, you know, made his cameo? What did you think of Those That Wish Me Dead? I definitely think that it was worth uh, seeing. So again, three out of five stars. Leave me a like, a comment, and please consider subscribing for more movie and TV related content. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.